Hello everyone, I'm Shannon Slatton. A man remains hospitalized after he was struck by a bullet Wednesday afternoon at a Brooklyn Park strip mall. Police say the man was an innocent bystander of a drive-by shooting. Delane Cleveland joins us now from 63rd and Zane where the incident happened. Investigators say a man was sitting in his car while his son was inside getting a haircut. Then around 4.15 in the afternoon, someone started shooting from a moving vehicle and hit the man in the chest. But police say that a group of juveniles in the parking lot nearby were the intended targets. Right to the side of the barber shop, they were, they were shooting dice and uh, they were obviously the intended target. It's a group of people um, that have been causing problems over the last few weeks. And so there's some sort of feud going on between them. Evidence of that feud was on full display for anyone who passed by the intersection on Wednesday as investigators looked at shell casings on the ground just feet away from bullet riddled vehicles. The conflict, according to Deputy Chief Mark Bruley, revolves around a turf war over who gets to sell marijuana in the area. And so uh, we're seeing a lot of violence and shootings at, the, at that intersection at those businesses over the marijuana. Investigators say that feud was also at the part of a shooting on Monday when a man was shot in the leg outside of the Fast and Fresh convenience store. And he refuses to cooperate, refuses to provide information about who did it. He knows who did it, um, refuses to release any of his medical records to us, um, and just simply won't talk to us about the incidents. Making matters even more challenging is what Bruley calls a lack of accountability from the Hennepin County judicial system. We are making many arrests. Unfortunately, a lot of these kids are 16, 17 years old, and even if you catch them with a gun or with drugs, there's nowhere to bring them. The juvenile detention center does not hold juveniles like they did in the past um, and be honest with you they're just not being held accountable in any way by the judicial system. On top of that Bruley says they're not getting the help they need from the county attorney's office. Specifically marijuana cases are not being charged um, in this county right now and so there is a lot of challenges that we're faced with that the tools are being taken away from us to be able to curb some of these issues. Add it all up and Bruley says the failure to hold people accountable for selling marijuana is leading to gun violence. They've tried youth outreach efforts and neighborhood cleanups near 63rd and Zane, but so far their strategies haven't worked. We started out with robberies, now we're just seeing open shootings and so um, the answer isn't easy, we know that, but we're working with all our partners to try to get everybody focused in one direction. Meanwhile, the county attorney's office responded to Bruley's comments late Thursday afternoon. For a look at the full statement, you can go to our website at ccxmedia.org. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. After years of development projects falling through at the Four Seasons Mall site in Plymouth, the city now plans to purchase the property itself. The Plymouth City Council unanimously approved a resolution to purchase the site at Highway 169 and Rockford Road. The cost is expected to be $6.7 million. The city will use transit funds to acquire the site since the city expects a transit-oriented development to eventually happen there. Plymouth City leaders expressed disappointment that a recent proposal for affordable housing wasn't able to work out financially. The city plans to now demolish the buildings and then solicit proposals from developers. Golden Valley City leaders are expressing disappointment that a partnership agreement could not be reached with the Minneapolis Park Board to handle problems at a beach in Worth Park. City officials say the unofficial beach on Twin Lake has had issues with drug use, nudity and other problems. Golden Valley worked with the Park Board to craft a memorandum of understanding for regular meetings and collaboration over the beach, but the Park Board said no in a 0-7 to seven vote. It definitely was a surprise. Um, and it's, you know, frankly, for the moment, uh, disappointing. Uh, it's quite, quite the setback. Um, we've worked really hard with the park board um, leadership. We've worked hard with their staff. What happens next with the beach this summer is now left up to the park board. It's a question many businesses are asking. Where are the workers? Many restaurants and retail shops tell CCX News they're having a hard time filling positions. Reporter Sonia Goen shows us how the hiring headaches are impacting local shops in Robbinsdale. You don't have to search far these days to find help wanted signs. Just about every job sector is hiring. If there's good applicants, there's several employers trying to trying to woo them. Josh Dykehouse is the co-owner of Birdhouse Eat and Drink in downtown Robbinsdale. Do you want a lemon or a lime at all? And is looking for a few good people. Facebook, Craigslist, I started using Indeed. Because the restaurant is short-staffed, Dykehouse is also helping in the kitchen. And it's taxing. 
I'm tired. He says they could use cooks and servers. Since day one, we have had issues with staffing. The restaurant opened last August during the height of the pandemic and hasn't fully recovered. I have never seen this restaurant at full capacity. So I'm excited to see that, but a, a little bit nervous at the same time. The question is, do we have the staff for it? And right now, I don't think we do. Struggle is we can't hire anybody. Nobody is interested. Down the street at Wicked Work Brewing Company, they're also feeling the pain of trying to add people to the payroll. We've got requests out there for people, beer tenders. Uh, we try to get another cook and we can't get another cook. Uh, we tried everything and we just can't get people. Owner Steve Carlisle says both the tap room and coffee shop is in search of excellent employees. We could easily use up to eight people. And this is our signature beer. Members of the family owned business are spreading themselves thin, filling in and covering vacant work shifts. That's what we're all doing and then I actually cook on Monday nights. It is crazy right now. The destination spot is ramping up with events now that COVID restrictions are lifted, but they need workers to staff parties. People to work at the events, we need people to work up here. Coffee shop, out in our, our beer tap trailer on the weekends. Hiring managers say there's many reasons why they're scrambling to find employees, but the main factor seems to be that some potential workers would rather live off of unemployment benefits, which are higher during the pandemic. Both Robbinsdale businesses say they hope things turn around sooner rather than later. I know things will normalize at some point. I'm just looking forward to that day. This is a family-owned brewery, and we make it happen. In Robbinsdale, Sonia Goins, CCX News.